folks, how's it going? How's your happy summer? Have you been at the flea market, the antique shop, the antique mall, the vintage shop, the thrift shop? What have you been doing with your summer? Playing soccer, kickball, surfing? I hope it's been fun. We're back with a collection of buys and finds and of course, some wonderful friend and subscriber gifts right here on my take on home and garden. Does it look different here around here a little bit? Sounds a little echoey. I feel like I almost need a jacket. Viewer beware, there's some changes in the wind, I think. But let's look at our first wonderful friend, Deb and Brad Getz from Pennsylvania. They are relentless with the Wexford. <laughs> they just keep pouring it in. Just wonderful. Here are some tidbit trays and they're footed and they're, I would call these like individual fruit or nut trays and that you would place around a room or at a table. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? By Anchor Hacking in the Wexford Vintage Pattern. The large and small diamond cut pattern. Guys, you, you, you've been here. <laughs> They're pretty sharp. They know what we have. And what's amazing is they know what we don't have. So they keep sending it. Look at this on the display. Thanks, guys. You know you're up on the top shelf with us. Right there. Beautiful thing. Look at this. Now, this is a decanter by them as well. And I never see this one. So I want to show you the one that we do have. And it's amazing that there is a second one. Angela can laugh at me because I dusted it off first. <laughs> now here is the tall one. Look at the difference. And of course, it's not about this one today, but it's about the one they sent. But just to show you that there's two, and I got to admit, because I'm going to be honest here, you guys rock, because I didn't know there was a different one. I've never seen this one. How cool is that? Especially on a display turntable like this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Brad and Deb. Now talk about, I know everybody wants a set of these. <laughs> so many people stopped using the little salt cellars, but some of us diehards that like to set a proper table, we have not stopped using them. And when I grew up, everybody had one of these for your little green onion or what we call a scallion okay and these are wonderful mcm crystal and look how good folks again from brad and deb thank you guys they have a beautiful home they're remodeling and it's a large victorian and they're doing a heck of a job. And I tease them because they've only showed us pictures of one room. So <laughs> I know how that is. If you don't have things where the way you want them before you show it, but their house is gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for these. They're wonderful. Now look at, remember it was Angela's birthday okay july 2nd so she has sent these things for her birthday with a wonderful note as usual 
and we really thank her for that. This little cream and sugar set is gorgeous and it is made in Japan. It's in the luster wear style. We'll get a look at that. It's got a floral stamp on the bottom. Oh, this is right out of Art Deco to me. Real sweet. Just gorgeous. Look at the color combination. Love it. Very pretty. And Angela loved it too. And I was going to try to have her in this show with us, but she's working on the next two videos. So it just, it's not easy to have her in the show. You guys know it. Got a couple of amazing announcements coming up to today in this show. So let's look at this pair. Really different. You guys, you know, you're spot on, right on. Amazing couple. What a wonderful couple. Someday I know they'll come to Florida, throw some money around our state, and we'll get to meet them. I'm sure of it. And there's a bunch of you out there like that. Look at these little beauties. Made in Japan, little geishas. Now how cute can you get? One is a figurine, okay? And she looks like she's got a drum or a bowl and either she's cooking, stirring, or she's playing the, a little drum. It's hard to tell. But I think it's a, probably a bowl. This one is a salt or pepper and how cute they look like a pair, don't they? How cute is it? Love them for our little mini Asian collection. These will look so cute on the shelf with the other stuff. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't we go crazy if we ever found the mate to this? So you know I got a lot of projects like that. That just makes it more fun. So we love them. Angela is very grateful and she loved everything, of course. You guys are so right on anyway. How could you not? Now this is the cutest card. I don't even have to open it, I remember. It's from Hazel of Washington. Look at what Hazel has sent Angela. It was distinctly written out this was for Angela's birthday, but she did say, you'll laugh, the teacup and saucer and Hummels were for me. So what a cutie. <laughs> she included me because she was sending a package and we'll get to them in a second. How can you beat another wonderful spring cup and saucer by Duchess of England. Look at this beauty. We've seen them. You guys were just clobbering us with them in the spring. Can't have enough. They're so good. We love it. Thank you. Hazel, you're just a darling. Up there in Washington. Let's see that porcelain light come through again, just to remind you how to check your stuff and think about it, maybe. There it is. We'll, we'll offset that so you can see. Then, like that wasn't enough, she sends collector edition little Hummels from Germany and they are global made in Germany they weren't newer and made somewhere else so this is the sweetest little girl and it is called in German it's Rex Oderlinks two hands one treat so she's got her hands behind her back there is a little pinhole. I think there's a little bouquet missing, but I'm not sure, and we don't care, but I will try to find it. But 
how do you beat the little dress and the little faces on these? I don't know how. <laughs> so, thanks so much, Hazel. Really cute. And look at this girl. She has a medallion stating that it's a final issue and 1990 by Goebel. The girl talking to the bluebird on the fence. Just superb. Love that. And in German, it's Vorlingestel. Signs of Spring. Vorlingestel. Okay. <laughs> How sweet is that? Look at what's coming up next. For the birthday girl, I'll take a second and get these things up here. She really nailed it for Angela's perfume collection. So sweet because we don't think of it all the time and I, you know, I don't think of it all the time when I'm out there in the field alone, out in the wild. But Hazel, what a job she's done. Look at this beauty with the butterfly. Now this is but it is a perfume and it's out of New York. And look how cute and different that bottle is. That's as far as I can go with that one. <laughs> so this one is a wonderful, to me this is Czech crystal, could be Polish, it could be French. But the container itself is polished cut polished it has a frosted blue rim here on the neck and a frosted tapered finial top so it's really neat really sweet haven't fully identified that but i'm pointing you in the right direction because we've seen quite a few of these different ones from time to time. Watch that crystal react to the light here on this one. It's just awesome. Now here is a wonderful vintage piece. It's, it's not marked again, but it is with brass pieces. The butterfly on the pull stopper Look at the jewel work around the rim of this bottle. This is a frosted bottle. No label, no mark. We're not worried about it, but if anybody knows what it is, we'd love to hear from you. Look at that one. Now, the real creme de la creme here. I went nuts over this because there is a it's almost a laser etching on the bottom and this is early and it is awesome and I think this is late 1800s you can barely read it and it says Czech Republic look at the finial here it is cut it is frosted and can you imagine doing all this work and not have this break here's the little applicator the whole piece is absolutely exquisite in the late 1800s i put this one we're gonna find it probably right in victorian age it has an incredible patina from age and it is fantastic let's look at it on the light here that's so I don't know Victorian 1910 Art Nouveau Art Deco battling for second place <laughs> it it has those flavors but the finial really looks Art Deco to me this could be late 1800 still it could be 1920 they made this wonderful perfume and of course Angela loved it thank you Hazel 
for that wonderful piece and all the pieces you sent to us, and especially the ones for Angela's birthday. We really appreciate you. Fantastic. Next, our wonderful friend Jessica, who is all over the world and the country with her job, and she is in Germany from time to time. She come up with this dessert plate and teacup and saucer. Look at this pattern. It's in an awesome dragon pattern. And what I love about it, it's so different. This is Bavarian. It's got just the double X crossover stamp on the bottom and this is more of this is not a modern dragon this is an you know more like an art deco dragon or art nouveau maybe art nouveau right here right out of there maybe 40s we'll look that up as well but how sweet can you get with that little matching set very cool very nice we want to see the porcelain we can look and there's the light showing through you see it Jessica no she's amazing <laughs> her and her husband Michael they keep it coming just like some of you other ones and you are something else now look at this different this is a like a carafe I would call it it's lidded it's Bavarian let's check the bottom Germany by cash we'll get a good look at that on the close-up how sweet and look at those spring colors beautiful what a cute small table and a tea you could set with that thank you Jess Miss Jessica it's off the chain good we know you're gonna like this one this was unnamed I have a feeling it's from her husband Michael <laughs> they, they like have shopping wars and they they send us stuff in between I think but they have fun finding items and this is a doozy look at this crackle face divine just gorgeous the color is amazing I'm seeing in the magic vase, I'm seeing a beautiful table vase. Hmm, maybe for Peridot in August. <laughs> Did I have a vase already? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I know I have something ready for it because it's the next birthday table coming up, right? Alrighty, what a winner. Thank you guys. They're, they're untouchable, these people. Look at this beautiful thing. I would venture to say that's a West Virginia piece and it's a later piece, like newer, possibly. Maybe 60s. And a company that did pieces this size in the crackle was Blanco. You can look them up, check them out. They got some neat stuff and their items are circle the globe in the collection world, in and out of collectors <laughs> when you're lucky like this. Thanks guys. This is awesome. So let's see, where was I? Oh, I'm at something you will have seen by now by the time this comes out which is my latest venture to 
Daytona Flea Market. And we had to check on everybody over there. And it rained like a monsoon. <laughs> and some of the people that I always like to check on weren't there. But it is a good, you, you'll know that anyway, you're gonna see it first. This is what I picked up while I was at Francis shop and so on. Right here. Look at the sweetest little ruby red face. And this is kind of a pocked, rough finish. Applied handle. It's clear. I put this right around the 60s and it has the hand blown finish breakaway piece on the bottom. Look at the color of this little beauty. Oh, anybody there would want it. I think she gave me that for seven dollars. And what a sweetheart. Don't forget to check out Francis and Felipe at the Daytona Flea Market. You know it's a winner. So many of you have went by there and come out of there with something too. <laughs> it's really good. Always something new. Like I say, wait a couple weeks, go down and check on them again. And I've never come back empty handed. Of course, that's not hard for you to believe, right? I know. Sometimes I've been empty handed. Somewhere once, I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, look at that. She had a beautiful set of porcelain geishas and I thought they were fabulous. This is a little different scale than the other ones we have, and I thought they were superb. Look at these. There's a set of four, and of course I want the whole set, and they weren't bad. They weren't bad at all. This whole set Fine porcelain was under $50. So I was happy to the moon and nobody has a broken finger. There's not a broken flower petal. Okay. Nothing to fix here for me. <laughs> so you know I like that part. We'll try one on the turntable for you. Can you see the light through the porcelain? I know you can. So folks, how fun is collecting? If you had fun today, at least, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over, tell a buddy, and tell them how much fun we have right here on my take on Home and Garden. Now let me get something out. I do have a semi-sad, oh, there goes, I'm not going to have time, semi-sad announcement, if I got a little time on that camera. You see the shelves behind me? We are going to have to say goodbye. I hate saying it to some of you diehards, but we're going to have to say goodbye to all the beautiful blue and white and yellows for summer. <laughs>